Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the frosty planet where things are frosty and that's problematic for our water here that keeps freezing. The output pipe is full again somehow. This is turned off, so that doesn't seem like that should have happened. So I need to start emptying out a pipe again. Frustrating. How did that happen? Because there's not extra water going into the system. Interesting. Um, but yeah, we need a little bit... Uh, I need that to get done ASAP, actually. Because once this runs a few times, it'll warm up the water in here. You know, that's the important part. The problem is these temp shift plates are, you know, negative 12 degrees. We need them to be, like, 10 degrees. Or something. And that will be nice. Okay, yeah, we need this to go down to zero. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going to construct an area for uh, other processing stuff, like a rock crusher and whatnot. But so far, this is just a nightmare over here. Are you done? Insufficient resources, iron ore. Oh, you don't know? Uh, blah, 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 blah. You want to know why that is? That's because they can't get over to uh, this area. Will that work? Can they jump down from a ladder? I guess we'll see. They can't get over there. Jeez. This is, this is uh, Crydax not being very good at a game. Which I'm okay with. I kinda like it. It's fun to, fun to learn. Okay, um... I'm curious about these wheeze warts still. Four kilograms of phosphorite. Must receive deliveries of gas. So it just has to have a gas. I think it's the gas that it's actually cooling off. I'm just so confused on why these say consuming vacuum. That's the piece that I'm confused about. Because they have gas. Um, I don't know. It's just weird to me. Get a few more pike apples going. I am going to accept the seventh duplicate. It's running! Finally. Okay. What is... Is that the water level that that's showing in here? Oh, that might be the coolant level. That's what that is. Okay. What's the temperature now? Negative 10? Hmm. How did we get... How did we get bottled water? Oh, is that what gets dropped from that, maybe? Maybe. Oh, jeez. Someday this will get done. Um, okay, they, they can get over here now with the ladder like that. I was... See, even basic knowledge like this, like, can dupes jump, you know, down from a ladder? Two tiles down or not? And the answer is they can. So that's good. Um... That is higher power now, or higher priority. We do need this metal to get processed. I'm gonna go ahead and deconstruct those just cause their temperature's messed up. I am gonna turn this back on because we need more water. Oh, sweet. Looks like we're finally eating up all the CO2. That's good news. Good news indeed. And this is probably starting to get close to self-sufficient. Once those two tiles are hydrogen, and I don't know if they ever would, I think they'll always be bouncing back and forth. Um, then this only runs because of the battery loss, which soon, in fact, maybe now? No, I still don't have enough refined metal. This thing is so slow. is so slow. 
40 seconds industrial machinery. Um, what skill does it use? Operating, supplying. Um, skills. So who has the best operating? Operating. Why do I not see it there? Oh, it's machinery. Why, why does that not match up? Machinery and construction. Huh. So operating one gives you better machinery skill. So who has the most machinery skill is the question. One, zero, four, 14. Meta Mike has a machinery skill of 14. Oh my God. Um, so priorities L. Meta Mike needs, yeah. Okay, and they do have operating priority is high. But building and digging are also high, so I think we should do operating top notch priority. So Meta Mike should be here any minute. Um, problem being our battery threshold. Oh, apparently that counts too. That's funny. So will Meta Mike, uh, what are they all doing? Like, what is Meta Mike doing? Where are you, Mike? I don't see you. Oh, they're powering this one. That one's a low priority, to be honest. I have plenty of oxygen. That's really just for extra. There we go. It's way faster than 40 seconds when MetaMike is running it. I don't know what the actual bonus is. Does it tell me? Um, oh yeah, here, machinery. Plus a hunt, so it's more than twice as fast. Wow. So it's only like 15 seconds to run a whole cycle, but it probably takes Oh, does that mean it takes less power? I'm sure it doesn't draw more than 1.2 kilowatts, which means we actually end up using less total joules. That's super handy. Okay, here we go. Here comes some warm water. 46 degrees. Lowered down to 36, 38 degrees. Okay. That's helpful. That lowered the temperature decently, and that should help this stuff stay water. What's our temp shift laid at? Negative, negative eight still. All right. I think it should help a little bit with the freezing problems. I mean, we'll get there. We'll get there. I don't know. That temp shift plate is now negative one. Oh, that warmth is so good. Helping to finally not freeze the crap out of everything down here. Uh, the problem is now we're at 60 degrees. Is the next one going to be too warm? Next one going to boil? Hope not. that the current cycle all right this is a duplicate we're actually gonna grab duplicate all right who do we get um we're gonna get one that can kind of do anything i don't feel like i need super specifics i'm still so far from even caring about rockets um i could just get food uh no i don't need food strength agriculture having another one that could do Narcoleptic is really frustrating, though. So is Bottomless Stomach. Hmm. Jeez, Mouth Breather doubles their oxygen usage. 
Um, I don't love narcoleptic. Really don't like these, actually. Those are like three of the worst ones. Narcoleptic mouth breather and bottomless stomach. Uh, I'm gonna take the next one, I guess. We'll just do some food. I will wait on this. I will wait on this. Okay, and as far as research, is it time to get an auto sweeper? Do they use power? See, I don't even know. I don't remember how any of this works. Pathogen diagnostics. I don't need that. Mechanical surfboard. Wood into ethanol. Oh! Interesting. Okay. So that's how we're going to do power. I missed that. I could have done that a long time ago. Um, all right, what temperature are we at? 70 degrees now? Yikes. The next batch is at 60. How is this not warming up enough? What are temp shift plates are still at negative 7.6? See, the problem is the... I don't know what the problem is, to be honest. Probably just not enough radiant pipes. Why don't I... Oh, and there's not water in the tile. That will help. Although, will it help? Because water to water temperature changes extremely quickly, but water to tile... That just counts as tile to tile, I think. Um, I don't actually know. But let me do some replacing here. A radiant, that should be a little better. Entombment. So again, how does this, how is this happening? 700 grams. I read online, so, so this is why I'm confused. I read online, and what I also thought was true, was something only turns into an actual tile when there's, like, almost a full tile of it. So, like, 800 kilograms of water, when it freezes, would turn into ice. But that's only 700 grams. How did that turn into an ice tile rather than an ice, you know, blobby, just like that? And that's what I really don't understand. I wonder if there can only be one... No, there can be multiple ice blobbies per... Right there, there's 1,700 kilograms, which is more than a tile's worth. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how it all works. Like that water there, which is... Only 33 grams should not be able to turn into a tile, but sometimes it does. Okay, here's our here's our next one. What do we got? 70 degrees. By the end, it's cooled down to 50. Oh, but the next ones get hotter. Interesting. We are gonna start boiling on the next one, aren't we? Hmm. Temp shift plates really got to warm up to get this to water. I think once this is a, a pool of water, we'll be okay. Yeah, the radiant pipes just don't have very much thermal mass themselves, so they warm up really quick. And then the temp shift plates are trying to catch up. I mean, it's definitely doing something. This temp shift plate is all the way up to six now. But yeah, I, I think the next... We're getting close to the point where it's just going to boil the water on output. Um, status... Contents. Yeah, 80 degree. The next one is at 70. I 
think that one won't boil, but then that one's probably going to boil, unfortunately. And then I don't know what's going to happen from there. Is it going to release steam, which is then going to cool off and splash down and just get water? Although that could actually be helpful. If it releases the hot steam into the air, then it'll condense eventually back into water at, I don't know what temperature. Yeah, this water is 100 degrees. Oh, jeez. Oh, nuts. Why is that temp shift plate not warming up? Is it because of the granite? Probably because of the granite. I didn't think about that. Um, I want something with a low thermal mass. And a low conductivity. I haven't built a wood tile before. Uh, there's some on the map. I want to see if they fit the bill. Um... One second. Okay, so where is the wood tile? Oh yeah, it's like right here. So a wood tile has 2.3 capacity, 0.22. I mean, insulated tiles are pretty good. Only a capacity of one and extremely low conductivity. Whereas the granite's actually a pretty high conductivity, so that's just keeping this area cool. We don't want that. Um, so three tiles of igneous rock right there will actually help quite a bit. Insulated igneous rock. And the granite down here is doing the same thing, but... We'll get there eventually, but yeah, this next one is gonna boil, I think. Yep, there it is. Heat damage. Yep, broke the broke the pipe. But the good news is the water here should be really hot now, right? No. I think so. Maybe it's just cooling off that fast. Yeah, you can see the granite's actually warming up now. Oh, this is such a pain in the butt. Such a pain in the butt. Uh, at least I have metal now. Why, what am I waiting for? Let's build... One of the main things we've wanted for a long time is a smart battery. So we're gonna deconstruct you. Build a smart battery. And I'll want a smart battery for this... This area as well. How's this water temperature? 29? That's fine. Um, deconstruct that. You guys do some sleeping. CO2 is fine. We're scrubbing all of it. Okay, get that deconstructed. A smart battery in its place. Boom. Heat? It's interesting. Oh, these make even more heat. Do they only make heat when when it's huh like powering something or do they just constant surely they don't just constantly make heat if they're unpowered it's probably only when when there's power in it that's leaking out it's leaking out in the form of heat that's gotta be it because otherwise it, that wouldn't make any sense because you could just get free heat if you just built a bunch of batteries sitting there doing nothing which, I know there are some weird things in the game, but that wouldn't make any sense. Are you repairing that pipe? Good. So now we can get more boiling water. <laughs> or it can break again. Oh my gosh. 
boy. I do think we'll get there eventually, but this has been a journey. I would like some more igneous rock. Um, what does it look like again? Igneous. I grabbed most of it. It's just granite. Probably down here somewhere. What does this look like? Mineral. Granite. It's kind of the the dark gray. Sandstone. Igneous is this one. Okay, so there's igneous up here. And there's a little bit more right there, but not a lot. Okay. So we'll just build granite. Insulated tiles here. And that will help, because even though these are negative 17 degrees, they're not exchanging very much heat. So... It shouldn't have a huge impact on these temp shift plates. Alright, here comes more heat damage. Hot water. Is there hot water in this tile? I mean, it's literally just immediately turning to hot water. So there should be. Um, what's your... Your input water here. It seems like it's out of water, so I need to turn on the valve for a minute. And there's actually water in this tile? 100 kilograms for once? That's because of all the water that just came down, I guess. The other problem is there's so many kilograms of random rock. I want to sweep up all the non-ice. Uh, I wish you could filter sweep. So, so... Like, I want to sweep granite here. Sweep that. Sweep igneous rock. Sweep granite. Granite. Sweep. Cinnabar. Sweep. Igneous. Sweep. Cinnabar. Sweep. Granite. Sweep. This is kind of annoying. Polluted ice. I don't know where that goes. There's no storage for polluted ice. That's unfortunate. Granite. So I need to make a storage for polluted ice. Um, that was weird. Did you see that? There was no icon for the storage bin. That was super odd. Um... Build it right there. You will be the polluted ice storage. This is gonna work eventually, and then it'll get. Well, it will. Yeah, it will get too hot. This is so difficult. I wonder what the intended, like. What's ethanol's heat capacity? We already looked at that. It's lower. And it boils. So ethanol's good for cooling. Look at that. So it won't freeze in your pipes. So maybe ethanol is what we're going to use to cool off this area. So a little bit later, I will expand this to over here. And we'll have a radiant pipe on this side. Again, with more temp ship plates behind it. And we'll pump ethanol through there, kind of in this area, and we'll have some sort of automation on thermosensor senses a temperature, so we can turn on um Yeah, we can turn on some sort of pump? What what would we turn on? We would need a liquid shutoff. 
And basically, there's just going to be a loop of ethanol that will loop kind of vertically here. I can even pre-design it a little bit here. So I'll have a ladder to get down here. And there'll be a liquid shut off. I guess it can be closer like up there. And then there's going to be a thermo sensor in the water. And when the water gets too warm, there is fine. When it gets too warm, we will have automation wire connecting those two. And then there will be radiant pipes starting here going around and then just regular pipes connecting those and then this will go kind of down here with ethanol and then there will be an area with radiant pipes again right now I don't have the capability to grab but yeah something like that will do what we want and oh wait this i guess this has to be down one more shoot because we need the um whatchamacallits the, the floor the insulated floor here so and i might need a liquid reservoir too potentially liquid reservoirs are kind of nice because then you can have more total stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to, right? Good reservoir. Where are you? The other thing I don't know, does a reservoir exchange temperature with its contents? I'm gonna Google that real quick. Does a liquid reservoir exchange temperature with its contents? Oxygen not included. Internal storages are sealed but not insulated. Its contents will still exchange heat with its environment, as well as the solid tile below the reservoir's tile of interest. Interesting. So, tanks exchange heat with the surrounding ones, but it seems like... And also the base tiles of reservoirs. But it doesn't exchange heat with the, its own container. That's kind of an interesting distinction. So then I could have metal tiles with temp shift plates around so that the reservoir contents are actually getting cooled off while they're in the reservoir. And then that's kind of a in interesting. I wonder if I should have done that up here. I probably should have. That probably would have been more effective. Hmm. I don't know what the exchange rate is, though, of temperature. Oh, and there's our ethanol distiller. 500 grams of ethanol from 1,000 grams of wood. And we get polluted dirt, CO2, and some heat. Uh, and then an ethanol power plant. I don't think I've unlocked. But let's research that. Ethanol. Um, this one. And we'll find out how much power that makes. Where did the reservoir go? Oh, it's in base. That's right. Uh, that'll never make sense to me. Okay, in, out. 
Plumbing. Pipe. Alright, so this will be like the cooling area. And we'll just have a bunch of ethanol in here. Plumbing. Tile. Eventually I'll have metal tiles, but those are expensive right now. But for now, I'll do granite tiles. And then we'll do temp shift plates behind it. Okay, now... I don't even know what my dupes are doing. All these sweeping errands are never going to get done. I'm going to priority six those. And now they'll get done. I think it's time to turn the bottle emptier off. Water temperature is acceptable. We need a smart battery here. That's what I didn't do. Frick. Can't do a smart battery. Oh, you need an auto? Whoa. Um, that's annoying. I didn't realize you needed an automation wire. Ah, okay, well, I'm totally screwed now. Um, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, well, for now, stick a jumbo battery back there. That's funny. Uh, let's deconstruct that. Oh, well. Yeah, that's really interesting. I didn't consider that. I mean, I didn't consider it because I didn't remember it. Make a regular battery again. And polluted water got in here, despite my best attempts. Wonder... I guess they mined the polluted ice. Yeah, that's fine. What materials... Wait, what's going on? Oh, it just all boiled again. Okay. I want them to finish the sweeping first, though. All right, finally a good dupe. Come on, here we go. Yeah, plant murder's fine. Although I did kind of want someone. Maybe I'll do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugly crier's fine. I don't need a ton of attacking errands. Athletics means they walk around really fast, which is just generally helpful. So the next Patreon is Luan. Luan, welcome to the welcome to the crew. This will be your bed. And you're gonna help get stuff done. Luan earned a skill point already. Jeez. That was fast. I'm still curious. Why is this sweeping not getting done? What what all is so much more important than sweeping? I do not know. Okay, there's the polluted ice. Polluted ice. There we go. And polluted dirt. Why not? And that'll be fairly high priority to get those out of the normal areas. I guess one problem that people are having is their cold, the chilly surroundings issue, and so they're going back to warm their hands at one of these. And that's slowing everything down. One thing that would help is if they don't have to go around here, they could go up a ladder maybe here. Um, so let's do that and put a ladder up. That will help a bit. Also, what? What happened? Insufficient ice. Why? No one's delivering ice to it. 
Interesting. Huh. Well, there you go. So supplying is just not... People just aren't doing supplying very well. Um... It's nobody's priority, and everybody has higher priorities, I guess. And they're just getting those things done instead. Bulby, I don't want to have tidying that high of a priority normally. Maybe Luan, I just want you to do supplying first before anything else. And then you can get stuff done. Alright, so this is a good opportunity. How much are you carrying? So they can carry 200 kilograms by default. And that's not very much. So we want Luan, who's going to do supplying, to have improved carrying. Now, this might look weird, but bear with me. I'm going to do this one first, because I want to know... Ah, oh, that's stupid. I could have just looked at strength on somebody else. I was going to say I want to know how much strength increases carrying capacity, but the answer is 40 kilograms per. But now Luan should be able to carry more. Should be able to carry 280? Yeah. Okay, and then with the next skill point, we'll do the tidying one, which is an extra 200 plus strength. So that's an extra 280 to someone that gets improved carrying. That's a pretty big deal. I feel like almost everybody should have that. And Bulby gets it for free because of the heart. Does anyone else get it for free? Sweet Corn Whiskey already has it. Meadow Mike could use it just because pretty low requirements so far. Lodro could use it. Derpamu could use it. That's a pretty big boost. Plus 400 kilograms triples their ability to carry stuff. More than triples from default. That's such a big deal. So I feel like having a lot of dupes with that is pretty handy because then they carry 680 instead of just 200. Yeah, that's a big deal. All right, and I need to turn this valve back on. Finally ready to get going here. What's the water temperature? Three degrees, perfect. Nice and chilly. The polluted water is wonderful. How many germs are in here? Mmm, nice and germy. Oh, somebody needs to be on the, the new schedule. No, no, four and three is fine. These ones are too warm now. Yeah, we need to bring cooling over to here, don't we? Yeah. Well, and there's the battery, there's the wood heaters. You know, it's just, it all adds up over time. I wonder why the farm tiles are warmer. Is it just because what they're built out of is slightly warmer? Probably. Alright, finally all the sweeping is getting done. There's still some abyssalite. I don't really care about that. Um, and the ice is fine. Though it doesn't seem to be exchanging temperature very quickly. 7.2. I mean, it is 2,400 kilograms. Which is 2.4 tiles of water. So that's kind of a big deal. But once that melts, that will be very nice. That'll... In fact... Yeah, this will probably fill up pretty well on its own. Okay, it's running. So that means I can turn this off. Is it going to boil, though? What's the temperature of what's in it? Temperature that's in it is... 
Nice and cool. Okay, so we should get a good few cycles out of it here. Let's keep an eye on what's going on here. We'll keep this at 20 degrees. So it's coming out at 40. Going back at 30. It's not quite as cool as I was hoping for. Will more temp shift plates help? I think they will. What we really want is like a metal temp shift plate. I wonder if iron, iron, they're just so expensive. Um. Yeah, let's just build a few more here. And I think for now I can turn off the bottle emptier because we have ice that's slowly warming up. He's really low. The temp shift plate. The thermal conductivity is fairly high. I wonder what iron ore does for temp shift. That is something I'm curious about, but I don't want to spend my iron on that, so I won't. Um, make five more irons. Another curiosity, does the water change temperature? It's in the input. If it does, it doesn't seem to be happening quickly. Hmm. 32.6. Goes to... Uh, I can't. Was it 30 degrees that it raises it? I can't remember now. Where else find out? 30, 32 goes up to 64. So it raises it 32 degrees. Jeez. And so then... 64 degrees stuff. It does lower the first one quite a bit, but then it... You know, as the warmth is coming through... Oh, I have an idea. I could lower the, um, ooh. I could make a valve that makes it so that less water is coming through here. It'll slow down the overall rate that it'll kind of, it'll take a minute because the output will be blocked. Um, but I actually think that's the way to do it. I don't know why that didn't occur to me before. So if we get, because the problem is 400 kilograms are flowing through so fast. So it'll be better if I deconstruct a radiant pipe there. And then we'll make a liquid valve. And we'll make it so that maybe only one kilogram per second can go through. Okay, so I'll copy the liquid valve, rotate it around. There we go. Um, overheat temperature 75. I think we can... Uh, that true? Hmm. Could get to 75. I don't really want that to be an issue here. Um. If I build something. I only have two options for what to build it out of, too. Does iron ore help with overheat temperature? I don't think it does. Hmm, I guess I'll just have to settle for that. Uh, 
I get sorry, that's if the whole thing is 75, not if the liquid coming through it is 75. That's different. That is different. Okay, and I want you to be 1,000. So now... Um, there we go. So now it's only letting a kilogram through at a time, and that's going to be able to cool off way more because the thermal capacity of each little blob is a tenth of what it was before. There we go. That should do it. Now the problem is that this whole thing is going to get too warm over time, which is what this is all about. But yeah, the output pipe is going to be full for a while, so it won't run constantly. That's fine. Still get our metal. And the temperature, 15 degrees. It's coming out at 60. Wonderful. It's finally cooling it off more than 30 degrees. We did it! Woohoo! We did it, fam! And 400 kilograms, so it'll take 400 seconds. For that to flow through, that might be a little bit too much. I guess I don't need it to cool off that much. So I can change that. Maybe we'll go to 200 grams a second. Wait a second. I just realized if that's using 400 kilograms, it can only run once every 40 seconds. Even if the duplicate runs it faster, the liquid output... Unless we get some sort of fat pipe later in the game that can do more than 10 kilograms a second, then it's literally limited to running once every 40 seconds, as is. New printables. Let's grab some more fried mushrooms. Why not? Oof, the temperature. Temperature is becoming a problem. Kind of want... More of this temperature over here. But then the dupes have chilly surroundings all the time. Oh, uh, there's... Maybe I need to insulate my pike apple farm. One thing I can do... I don't know what the average temperature of my ice is, but I could just build... A temp shift plate of ice over here. Let's see what temperature. Yeah, negative 27. It'll eventually melt back down into water and come down here as ice again, which is fine. Oh, there's an idea. Cool things back off again. I'm so happy that this is finally working. Coming in at 30 degrees, going out at 70. Perfect. Okay, so that should help. Keep things nice and cool. Yay, it worked! Those are back to... Back to happy. Happy again. So how do I make clothes? This, you know, I should have figured this out earlier, but is it, there's no such thing as clothes. Um, is there such a thing as cloth? Textile loom. So how 
having clothing like basically how do I keep them warm is it Atmo suits or is it clothing what's the I, I don't know which one's cheaper oops uh, which where's suit so lead suit jet suit exo suit where's that one Like, it's weird that when you click on that, it doesn't... It literally didn't go there. Um, it's possible that just wearing an exosuit all the time is the way to do it. But exosuits might be really expensive. I don't know. I don't know what they cost. So, yeah. Again, the learning, the learning curve is pretty high with this game. You know, not knowing those things ends up creating some difficulties. Oh, this was the right button. There we go. Yeah, we've still got gas pressure of... You know, it's interesting. I probably should have a second gas vent because it's it's two kilograms per tile here. But, you know, way over here, further away, it's, it's, it's only about one. So... By having another pipe, we would reduce the amount of time this gas vent is freaking out. Temperature of this water is now 20 degrees. Okay. I think I'm about ready to start building all this chaos. We are going to want insulated tiles for all this. Um, we're going to need a ladder down. This pump, I'm probably never going to use again. that and then we're gonna do temp shift plates speaking of ice temp shift plates what's the conductivity not bad it's two so yeah that's gonna that's gonna be surprisingly effective I think eventually they will melt right if, if the whole goal is for them to soak up heat but it's a pretty easy way to soak up heat, especially when they melt, they'll just come back down here, turn back to ice, or melt this ice and just kind of exchange. It's like an easy way to have a heat exchange going on, to be honest. Um, so this one, I guess we cancel those two and we kind of build in from the side here. And then we're gonna need a bunch more temp shift plates there of cinnabar. There's also Wolframite here, which has, oh my, extremely high thermal conductivity. Ooh. Also a source of tungsten, so I don't want to build a ton of stuff out of it. But yeah, let me grab a bit more. Well, I don't, hmm. I don't want my CO2 to come down into a hole here. So actually, is there some higher up cinnabar I can? Yeah, here's a bunch of cinnabar. Just make sure I have plenty of that. To build the temp shift plates is what I'm doing that for. Because they do cost 800 a piece, so they ain't cheap. this ice... Oh yeah, 0. 0.9 degrees. When does it actually melt? It says negative 0. 0.6. I don't know. It's just like real life. It needs... Oh, did it just melt? No. It's 1 degree now. It, um... Uh, you know, there's a phase change cost. But I don't know when it will actually switch over into liquid. Because that'll be two tiles of water right there. Fabrication's cute. 
Let's do five more. be able to pump this ethanol. Sucrose, consumable ore. What? Huh. Sugar. Sugar in my asteroid. Interesting. Is that something I need? Not yet. Hmm. Oh, well, I finished the research. Textile, though. Okay. Refinement. Oh, yeah, I wanted to look at this. It uses a kilogram of sand to handle five kilograms of polluted water. Interesting. And then it creates 200 grams of polluted dirt which we could then turn back into regular dirt. And then in a rock crusher, I don't know if it can, I don't know what a rock crusher can do. I need to build one. Um, build it there. And, uh oh, wait, what? What? Are you stuck? Oh, they're stuck. I screwed up. How did they, did they just dig down? Yeah, that's probably what happened. Shoot, priority, um, top priority. No, that didn't work. Construction, no, digging. Digging those is top priority. Constructing those is top priority. Because Edison's gonna die. Shoot. Okay, good. Phew! That was close. Alright, well that was, uh, close. You almost bit the dust there, Edison. But you live to see another day. So the thermo sensor. So the goal here is to cool off the water. So we'll wait until the water is like a solid maybe 70 degrees before we send cool water in. So send green signal if below 70 C or above 70 C. And I need the... The, uh... Plumbing... Uh, liquid shut off. Connects to an automation... Yeah, something like that. Perfect. I didn't know which side the automation was on. Got lucky. And then a liquid pipe. Like that. Like that. Alright, and then we just need to get some ethanol in here. I really still am a little confused. I feel like I'm missing something. On manual delivery of fluids to the pipe system. Can dupes deliver bottles to a reservoir? If they can do that, then that could be a way to do it. But it just feels weird that you have to bottle it somewhere, then do a bottle emptier into a powered pump just to get it into pipes. It feels like there should be a way where dupes can deliver it to something that puts it into pipes. Um... 
but if there is, I'm not fully understanding how to do that. Liquid distribution, would that be it? But that's rocket storage, so that's all rocket related. That doesn't seem like it. Yeah, that's all other stuff. It seems like it should be possible with what I already have. Huh. Oxalite refinery. Interesting. Advanced gas flow. Portable gases. Minister emptier. That's gas, though. Not, not fluid. I don't know. Oh, we need power for this? 10 watts? Ugh. Okay. Fine. Fine. Oh, less fine, because this needs to be heavy watt. I could do a transformer. Um... Ugh. Okay, here. Delete you. You guys are in the way. New achievement. What do we get? Red light, green light. <laughs> Automating a building. Uh, it's not quite automated, but thanks for the achievement anyway. I'm trying. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Now, are these ones that you can change without dupe work? They are. Okay, that's nice. So that means after building the temp shift plates, I should be good to close this off. Oh, right, and I need... Interesting. Carpeted tile increases decor run speed slower, though. And you need fiber. And that's the other thing I figured, is I'm going to need fiber to make um, any sort of clothing and like refinement doesn't have crafting so where is the crafting textile loom is a station not refining i still maintain that it's extremely confusing whether buildings are refining or furniture or you know, in a different category like food, like the grill is not refining or a station because it's just like, it just feels like the categories are so random to me. Okay, I'm still missing some stuff though. I do need a wire. Come up here. And then I need a transformer. There with heavy watt connecting the back end. Yeah. Which feels like a lot of work, but it's necessary. Actually, is it necessary? I don't remember how it works. If this is drawing 1200, but it was connected, uh, I actually don't know. I think it would overload, but I'm not totally sure about that. I'm really not sure. Hmm. Okay, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, I was going to find out if reservoirs can have... Reser oh, it says it right there. Cannot receive manually delivered resources. Well, what the heck? So it's literally going to make me build a pump just to get something into the pipe system. Interesting. That That is kind of frustrating. I do wish dupes could manually deliver fluids... 
to something that then dumps it into the pipe system. It feels so weird that you have to combine these two together. Um, right? Am I missing something? The pitcher pump gets it into bottles in the first place. Or the liquid pump could put it into the system, but then you have to pipe things all the way over. So I guess it's kind of like pick your poison. You either pitch your pump and then bottle empty your liquid pump with a shorter pipe, or you just liquid pump with a really long pipe to start with. I think in this case, I will go with the really long pipe version. Um, I think that's actually easier. Uh, we can mine through the Abyssalite, too, so it's not the end of the world. So do something like this. Uh, that. That. Oh, but then you have to power it, so you have to... Oh, my goodness. You know, build a little generator just for a minute. Just to get the... Just to get the stuff out. And then you need a pipe. I'll just build out a granite. That's going to come all the way to uh, here, and then we need a bridge. Okay. All right. And the reservoir can store up to 5,000 kilograms. And this is only about 1,000 kilograms of ethanol. So that should all work, believe it or not. And how's the temperature? Water temperature is 15 degrees. Not too bad. And then I just need to build... Uh, where is it? Utilities. Temp shift plates here. Did we ever build a granite temp shift plate? I can't remember. I'm just gonna build one because I'm curious um, what the differences are. Oh, I can just look at it here. Properties compared to this guy. Heat capacity is lower, but thermal conductivity is 4.5. Honestly, it would hold twice as much heat. I don't think that part matters that much, though. I think it's mostly the thermal conductivity that matters with the temp shift plates. So, okay, I can cancel that. Okay, that's going to take a while because we need a special dupe to dig Abyssalite. I forget who it is. Is it Edison? Looks like it, yeah. You the man. And then once these are all built, I'll build, build up those two insulated ones. There's no polluted ice in here, right? There is ice. That's okay. Oh, I know. Okay. Uh, the petroleum generator can use ethanol. Ah, uh, okay, I was looking for a little while and I could not figure out how the heck we use ethanol for power because now we can turn wood into ethanol. So the petroleum generator does it. There it is, combustible liquid. I see. So let's kind of, let's figure this out. So you get basically one joule per gram of ethanol and the wood burner gives you one joule per four grams of wood. And the converter of wood to ethanol is probably what, a utility? No, a refinement probably. Um, ethanol distiller is a one half. So we take, so you only end up getting twice as much efficiency. That's not that much. Um, and you end up with a one-sixth carbon dioxide amount 
for step one. And then, whereas the wood burner gives you about the same. So you're going to get the same amount of carbon dioxide either way. And you're going to get even more when you do the petroleum generator. Because once you have your 1,000 grams, it'll give you 250 more carbon dioxide. So you get a crap ton of CO2 from the wood to ethanol to power. And you get quite a bit of polluted water. Interesting. Huh. Which, of course, you can use sand to sieve back into water. So that's kind of handy. So that weirdly turns wood into water? Wow. What's that? That's a 3 eighths ratio. So you get 3 sixteenths ratio of wood to water. Um, and about a fourth of wood to CO2. Uh, power wise, it does give you more power. It doubles the power efficiency of wood. Um, so that's useful. But you definitely need to be able to handle the huge amounts of CO2. Which, there is a skimmer, right? Um, that uses water, I think. The carbon skimmer. <laughs> so yeah, it's like you could then use the carbon skimmer to grab the water you just made to skim some of the CO2 to make more polluted water. So really, sand is the issue. If you have enough sand, you can... So this deletes. This deletes CO2. Um... So how do we make sand? Literally, granite, igneous rock can both become sand. Or sandstone. Or sedimentary rock. Okay. Well, that makes sand pretty easy to get then, because we have lots of granite. Um, not dirt, though. It is important to notice that dirt cannot go to sand. Oh! This is, this is classic noob. Oh my God, this video is way too long. I'm sorry for how long this video already is. Um, <laughs> I just get so sucked into this game. I could have been making iron this whole time. You don't need the metal refinery. I could have just used the rock crusher to get iron. You only get half as much iron, but still I could have had refined metal ages ago. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Also, I just realized Mercury is a good... What's its, uh, what's Mercury's heat capacity? Very low. But it's very conductive, and it, look at its freezing and evaporation point. So, so Mercury would actually be a good kind of heat equalization tool around the base to have like a pipe loop. Huh. Yeah, the heat capacity is fairly low, but that if it's constantly moving, you know, 10 kilograms per little bubble, that actually still moves a decent amount of heat and it will conduct very well as it goes past places and it's not going to freeze on this map. There's nowhere that's negative 40. Even these places are still, you know, negative 30. Abyssalite doesn't matter that because that's it never transfers its temperature. Um, interesting. So I should have been using mercury, which I didn't have yet because I didn't know you could make it in the rock crusher. But we could use mercury for the metal refinery, and. Well, could I? Yeah, it doesn't matter how hot it gets. It's not gonna. It's not gonna boil. And then once it kind of goes through here, it should lose. Because we will add a lot. It'll it'll make mercury like a couple hundred. To, maybe not a couple hundred, but I'd guess 
Because what's the thermal capacity of water? Four. And the thermal capacity of mercury is 0.14. Oh, wow. It actually might boil the mercury. Um, Because it raises... The refinery raises the temperature of water by 32 degrees. And this is about... What's... 0.14 is one-seventh of a hundred. So this is 28 times less capacitive compared to water, which means we would raise 28 times 30 degrees. We would raise it 600 degrees. Oh, never mind. Uh, so you can't use mercury for the metal refinery. It would literally, it would boil it immediately into mercury gas. Um, however, I do still maintain that mercury is going to be a good liquid to move cold around. So is ethanol, though. Ethanol's uh, weirdly non-conductive. The medium heat capacity. I don't know. There's so many things going on here. Um, I'm just really frustrated about this rock crusher discovery. That is so sad. I didn't know that I could have been getting Iron ore this whole time. Anyway, now that I can get sand, I want granite to sand. What do I need? I need a storage. Do I have those automated storage bins yet? No. I should research that. Uh, what are they called? Smart storage bin. There we go. Okay, I need to call it an episode there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one.